that even when it comes to a special meeting that has been convened by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, you can see the Union Home Minister also there with the top officials as he is now assessing the situation, what may have caused this triple train collision. Those are the pictures that are coming in. Prime Minister Narendra Modi seated right here. We are told that officials from the NDRF who are also part of this meeting, they have been giving him a first-hand information of how this accident could have taken place. We are told that the Prime Minister himself was personally monitoring the situation, is invested and we are told that later in the day he himself will be flying down to the accident site around 2 to 30 p.m. and thereafter will also be going to the hospitals, various hospitals that many of those people who have been rescued and will be also getting an information on them from them exactly how this accident happened and what they had to go through. A compensation that has already been announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi as far as uh, from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for those the, to the kin who have lost their lives and others who have uh, unfortunately been also injured and critically injured in this accident but the pictures that are coming in right now explanation of the tracks how the tracks and how these lines were actually being used when this accident happened remember it was last evening when this uh triple train collision that was reported and the people may have been getting rid, uh, ready for uh, dinner or probably uh, trying to go off to sleep and uh, they couldn't have even imagined that uh, such kind of a situation may have happened. Now was it an issue of faulty track? Was it some other technical snag? Uh, this is something that will only come out of the initial preliminary report that may be expected out uh, to, be, to be out soon. Let me go across to Ashwarya now. Ashwarya, uh, pictures of Prime Minister Narendra Modi assessing the situation that are coming in right now. Well, that's right. Prime Minister is reviewing the entire uh, uh, rescue operation as far as uh, uh, the uh, uh, you know the agencies involved in the rescue operation are concerned. DG of uh, uh, the NDRF and other key officials were there in the meeting uh, where Prime Minister took a stock of the situation as we are get to, getting to understand that Prime Minister himself will be also leaving very soon to Odisha at the train accident site and uh, uh, they be, will be meeting with uh, the injured people uh, uh, you know, at, uh, in the accident site and also had uh, Prime Minister directed the uh, agencies and uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 people who had been uh, involved in the uh, rescue work that uh, the rescue operation should complete uh, should be completed as soon as possible and all the best medical health care facilities should be given uh, to uh, the uh, to the people who had been injured there had been uh, compensation which also has been announced by just not the central government but also the from the state government and uh, you know there had uh, there had been directions by prime minister himself in this meeting that uh, uh, if necessary then the uh, then the uh, then in the nearby areas there should be camp that should be uh, that should be uh, organized by uh, the help of the state uh, uh, state minister uh, state ministry and also uh, by, by the agency so that they can get uh, uh, the proper medical facilitation as, as soon as possible. Uh, medical treatment uh, and emergency services uh, have been pressed really uh, as far as the Sorisha train mishap is concerned uh, but uh, you know Ashwari as we're discussing the live shots coming in we can see in these visuals Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Amit Shah, uh, DGRF, uh, NDRF apologies officials also present in that meeting. Take us to really what's happening in this uh, review meet and uh, what can we expect as far as the rescue and relief operations are concerned. Uh, well, uh, the Prime Minister directly had directed uh, the NDRF officials that, uh, uh, you know, if more uh, teams should be uh, should, should be deployed, then uh, there should not be uh, any uh, delay in that. And therefore, the reason the NDRF had, uh, has kept uh, several teams uh, uh, in, uh, 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 in the nearby areas on the standby so that they can be uh, deployed over there. But as far as NDRF is concerned, they have been clearly stating that... Uh, uh, there is uh, no current need of uh, uh, of sending more deployment because nine NDRF teams are already there and they have been stating uh, that uh, the rescue operation uh, they are hoping that it will be conducted and will be completed by today itself as the entire uh, accident site has been uh, completely uh, investigated and no uh, you know uh, no life has been there uh, 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 what the trap in uh, at the accident site so uh, 238 is is the number that we are getting to understand from the latest uh, uh, figures, but Prime Minister directly getting involved and had been briefed by the DG and DRF Home Minister also attending this crucial meeting uh, just uh, uh, before Prime Minister leaves Turisa.
Right, as far as uh, rescue and relief operations are concerned, we're getting to know that nine NDRF teams, Ashwari, as you are telling us, have been pressed into service, rescue and relief operations, in fact, likely to conclude by the day the death toll, of course, um, also has mounted to 238. As far as the Prime Minister is concerned, we believe also he is likely to uh, reach the accident side ground zero today around 2 to 30 p.m. Take us to, uh, you know, what uh, really is the PMO planning uh, as far as this accident is concerned? Uh, well, uh, 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 Prime Minister had been briefed by the DG, uh, IG and the DG NDRF that operation is still continuing. So far, the state government had announced that 238 dead and more than 900 had been injured. And because the number of the injured are so high, Prime Minister had been uh, stating uh, and had given directions that more healthcare uh, uh, camps and relief camps should be, uh, should be uh, set up uh, by uh, the help of the uh, state government and by the help of the railway ministry in the nearby areas of the day accident site so that the people who had been uh, injured uh, uh, severely can be rushed to those uh, uh, medical facilities uh, as soon as possible and later they can be transferred to the hospital. So the primary importance is to rescue and to save lives of as many as uh, uh, they can from the number of injured people and uh, uh, also uh, uh, there had been uh, instruction that, been, that has been given that the food supply should also be uh, given to those people who had been affected in the train accident because it's a, a, tra a, uh, it's a triple train accident and therefore the reason perhaps now uh, the NDRF uh, officials had been uh, uh, had been uh, had stated to the Prime Minister that the difficulty and the challenges that they are facing is to cut the steel first, the iron first from the bogies because 17 uh, coaches had been uh, had been derailed and uh, uh, and after cutting them they are uh, still uh, continuing to uh, rescue. Uh, right.